whether you came willingly or somebody invited you or you were dragged into it, I want you to trust that you were divinely guided into this by someone or something bigger and you're meant to be here, right? There's a lot of other things you could be doing with your time and energy, but you're here. So let's just trust that we're all going to receive whatever it is we need. As Elizabeth said, obviously I'm not gonna, we'd be here all night into tomorrow if I was reading every single person. That's not the point. The point tonight is, we're going to trust a bunch of you are going to get read, okay? And we will all be impacted by the guidance, the messages, all of it. And there's a lot of parallels, okay? So if I'm speaking to somebody and not directly to you, and I'm answering a question you had, or you're having a physical response, like getting emotional or getting the chills or feeling this overwhelming feeling like my spirits are talking to me, they are. That's how this works. So I have a message for you before my groups, I prepare, I meditate and I ask spirit to show me who needs to come forward in the spirit world. And then any messages this group needs to hear. And sometimes I get nothing and other times I get a download. And today I got a short download. I just want to put this out there because maybe this is why you're here tonight, what I'm about to share. So the veil between this world, this dimension and the spirit world is thinning and lifting. And I'm sure a bunch of you are feeling that. Okay, so that's happening in general with moving from a 3D consciousness existence into a 5D. Okay, and I'm not going to go into that. I have tons of podcasts or videos on this if you're interested in more in that, but especially the veil is thinner around this time of year. And it brings up a lot of emotions, mixed emotions for a lot of us. And spirits are eager to be close to you whether they want to comfort you, guide you, heal you, protect you, just connect with you, which means that could be partly why you were felt guided to be in this, to feel some sense of their presence. What happens is, is when we die, we wake up, we pick up where we left off. So we wake up, everything's the same, except the body's gone. So you, you can't run from your, where your emotional, mental state when they're truly crossed over and not like trapped souls like ghosts, but they're truly crossed over. When they start to reflect on their life and do a life review, they have to take an honest inventory of everything. And mm -hmm. in that comes up their unfinished business, unresolved feelings, and whether it's them taking ownership over their own guilt or acknowledging, you know, the living persons. And so that's why readings are so powerful. It's like 10 years of therapy when you can make a strong connection and clear the unfinished business and alleviate the guilt and heal so that the living doesn't have to live with it until they die. And the departed are able to clear their conscience in a way that they can elevate higher. Do this with them when you meditate or when you go to bed in your, in your dreams. And you can say, I want a healing. I want to connect with you. And how do we clear the air? How do we make peace? Or however you want to phrase it. Guilt, along with any other emotion, transfers over into the non-physical. When you take time, even five minutes, to ground your energy, what we just did in this meditation for five minutes, connect up to source and have an intention to stay in alignment with your higher self, to make choices in the frequency of light and not shadow. When we make choices in shadow, it's because we're coming from ego, we're disconnected. When we do it from light, we are connecting in not only to our higher guidance and team and spirit, but our higher selves. When you do that, and then you go into a conversation with a friend or a work environment or a party, a social situation, you bring everyone up to you. And even if they're super off and they're not going to pull up to you, you're not going to be brought down and, and dimmed down by them do is make it a to be continued for you. So you know me, if you follow me, I always say it and I'm always going to say it. You have your own connection to them. Okay. And I'm going to call my energy back and release them from me. And I'm going to ask you to call it your energy back to you. But when we do this, when I say like, you know, set your intention in your heart, just if you really wanted to hear from them tonight and didn't, ask them to come to you in the next day or two or three or whenever. But come to you, invite them in, into your dreams, into your day ahead, showing you signs, into your meditations. They need your invitation, but just know if they didn't come through tonight, it's not because they didn't want to, or they don't love you. They had a lot of competition. There are what, almost a hundred of you. There's probably 10,000 spirits here. 
So it's, they're competing for airtime and it's limited. Okay. So if tonight wasn't the way directly, I promise you keep trying other ways, whether it's through another medium, through me some other time or directly for you. Want to take a journey to bring heaven to earth? Rebecca's Change It, Run It, Tap It program, otherwise known as CRT, gives you an opportunity to examine the beliefs that you have and the feelings you associate with them, and then flip that programming so that you can get into alignment with your truth. Your journey starts with a quiz. Most of us have two to five significant life's lessons to learn during our incarnation. This quiz helps you more easily identify those top lessons and recognize some of the patterns in your life that may be preventing you from learning them. Once you've gotten your results from the quiz, or if you already know your life lessons, you can select your life lesson group. For each group, you can purchase a specialized meditation for your life lessons, as well as the 30-day CRT program. There is also an ebook that will give you an overview of all of the life lessons. You can choose to purchase any of these three offerings individually or bundle them together. If you choose to enroll in CRT, you'll take what you learned from identifying your top life lessons and begin to shift any false beliefs and old programming that you are holding. The 30-day program gives you the opportunity to identify those beliefs and the feelings you associate with them, tap to help reprogram those beliefs, and run your energy using color to move further up the scale of consciousness and reach a higher vibration. CRT gives you all the resources to learn about these tools and a platform to turn them into a daily practice. The flexible learning platform, interactive prompts, and videos from Rebecca bring you closer to reaching your own heaven on earth, learning your lessons with grace, ease, and flow, and feeling better in the process.